introduce Sylvia Duckworth. Stop doodling, put your pencil down, and focus on me. Raise your hand if you have said this in the past year, students. Come on, don't be shy, put them up high. I know I certainly have. Well, today, I'm here to try to convince you in the five minutes that I have up here on stage that instead of being distracting, doodling can actually help your students retain information, increase their focus and engagement in class, and develop their creative thinking skills. My name is Sylvia Duckworth, and I'm from Toronto, Canada. And I'm here to tell you about the sketchnoting revolution, a movement initiated by a group of teachers who believe in the power of doodling. Doodling with a purpose has been called sketchnoting recently. And educators are starting to take notice of this powerful tool for students to take notes, organize their thoughts, and display and reflect on their learning. Sketchnoting in general involves both doodles and text to capture information and can be done in an analog fashion with pen and paper or in a digital fashion with an electronic device, whatever you're more comfortable with. For many years now, studies have proven that images are much more effective than text when it comes to comprehension, memory retention, and motivation. So doodling has the science and the research to back it up. In one study, people who were allowed to doodle during a phone conversation were able to recall 29% more information than the non-doodling group. And the dual coding theory states that pairing images with words can double memory retention. Sonny Brown is a well-known sketchnoting guru who claims that doodling can alter one's state of mind. It's a calming activity and can help someone go from a frazzled state to a more focused one. It's also very enjoyable. Beth Metasavage is a kindergarten teacher from Wisconsin who encourages her students to doodle whenever she reads a story out loud. She says their listening skills are so much better while they're doing this, and she cannot believe their level of focus. Doodling while listening to something involves visual, auditory, and kinesthetic senses. So it appeals to a broader range of students. It also allows them to see the bigger picture and to make connections in their learning. So with all of the benefits of doodling, why aren't more teachers encouraging their students to doodle in class? This is a question that a group of educators contemplated recently. So they decided to do something about it. Royan Lee is a friend of mine and a fellow Canadian, and in March of this year, he created the Doodle a Day Challenge on Twitter to encourage people to doodle more. For 30 days straight, he tweeted out prompts that were fun and thought-provoking, such as, take a song and doodle to it, and make a stain with a drink and turn it into a doodle, and doodle the concept love but without hearts, and doodle your inner critic. Then, in April of this year, a group of American educators, many who are here today, raise your hand if you're here, thank you, started the Sketch 50 Challenge also on Twitter, and they tweeted prompts such as, doodle a light bulb, and doodle two people talking, and doodle helping hands. For 50 days, schools around the world were transformed into creative learning spaces where doodling was encouraged in every subject area, from kindergarten all the way to high school and the doodles were shared on social media for everyone to enjoy. During these doodling challenges, participants were building their visual vocabulary or visual dictionary for use in sketch notes. And the cool thing about these icons is that they can be used for many different things. For example, a computer can represent technology, 21st century skills, and digital learning. A light bulb can represent creativity, ideas, and imagination. A rocket ship can represent the future, innovation, and adventure. But the biggest thing that people discovered along the way is that you do not have to be an artist to enjoy doodling and sketchnoting, because it's about the ideas, it's not about the art. The important thing is that you are taking visual notes that make sense to you. The high participation rate of the doodling challenges was astonishing. 
the Doodle a Day hashtag produced more than 6,000 tweets, and the Sketch 50 hashtag produced more than 30,000 tweets. It was Sketch Mania. In conclusion, this is a call to arms to all teachers to start doodling with your students if you haven't already. Please visit bit.ly slash doodle day challenge or sketch50.org for all of the doodling prompts. And join us in the sketchnoting revolution. Thank you.